G'day everyone, Wayne from Redcliffe Lander Bay Fishing. Going to do a uh, short video about the Pine River today. As you can see here, this is a map of the larger part of the system uh, from the Hornybrook Highway or the bridge. You'll see that it travels west and goes through a bit of a dog leg up underneath the highway, the Bruce Highway, and into the, uh, if you go off to the left there or head south, you're into the South Pine. And obviously, if you go north or northwest, you're into the North Pine. So that's the system. And uh, it's got a few creeks in there. It's very much lined with mangroves and lots of structure. It's got a few deep bits, got lots of shallow bits. It's absolutely ideal for lots of species. You can see here, this is the system right up at the start at the... Uh, Hornybrook Highway. Underneath the Hornybrook Highway is absolutely ideal structure for um, small Moses perch, brim, flathead, trevally. Uh, occasionally you get tarp on there. Every now and then you'll find a uh, mangrove jack. There's a lot of life in and around that structure, the pylons. Ideal if you like flicking soft plastics. You flick with the tide and land it near the structure and you'll find yourself on in no time. That's the fishing platform there. You easiest access is from the Brighton side. You just walk out there and it's quite a good platform there with all the amenities and uh, a great place to fish from if you don't have the ability to get out there on boat or in a boat. That's a bit of a, a wide angle view of that area. You can see the sand flats to the north of the picture. Um, these sand flats are absolutely covered with soldier crabs and that's the food source that the uh, fish will often chase at high tide. It's a great place to drift over at high tide. You've got a window of an opportunity of around two hours, an hour either side of high to drift over those flats before it gets a little bit too shallow and uh, you end up beaching yourself. You can see here, this is a, a map a little bit further in. The bottom of the picture or the south of the picture, you've got the beginning of Bald Hills Creek. It's one of my favorite creeks. I like fishing that creek right from the upper reaches all the way down to the mouth for flathead and brim. It's also a nice spot to uh, throw a crab pot or two. Across from that you've got Dolly's Rocks. You'll see that uh, it has deeper spots and shallow spots. It's very good in the summer months for whiting and flathead. That's a, a larger picture of Bald Hills Creek. It's not a huge creek. It runs up alongside Deegan Deviation. You can actually see and hear the traffic while you're fishing in that creek. And then you've got the mangrove line, line banks heading around the corner toward or, uh, deep water bend. Uh, again, throwing up into the mangroves at high tide, you'll find your bigger brim. Absolutely fantastic fishing uh, around those mangroves. And that moves you down into deep water bend. One of my favourite places, deep water bend. Nighttime fishing there, you'll pick up small threadfin, dew, your bigger brim. Also, flick up and drag back from all the banks that. Uh, run between these two bridges and you'll catch flathead in the whole system. There is no particular better spot. The whole area holds flathead. You can see here this is deep water bend leading around to the highway. Underneath that highway you've got a big system of structure again. Again very good for brim. Just to the, um, uh, the northwestern side of that structure. A lot of structure there that holds good fish and uh, it's very easy to find. Off to the left then you travel down into the South Pine. Again, all the species that we've already talked about, you'll catch in the South Pine. There are a few good spots down the South Pine for dew as well. I'll leave that for you to find. You'll see here, this is Bald Hills. There's a little car park there that, um, that feeds the South Pine. If you want to put a small trailer boat or a, uh, a, a kayak in there and fish that area. It's also an ideal spot to collect bait. I cast net for bait there. I have no trouble at all picking up a bucket of bait if you want to go out and catch some fish using liveys. You'll see here this is the North Pine. Uh, I don't fish the North Pine very often so I won't talk too much about it. I do know that through the um, summer months, January, February in particular, you'll find that the prawns are quite thick in the uh, upper reaches. That brings us to the end of this little session on the Pine River. I absolutely love the pine, one of my favourite spots to fish. It holds 
absolute massive variety of fish. Just a few of them I've written there. Brim flatty, whiting, dew, threadfin, shark and prawns. But holds way more than that. I'll leave it to you to discover what uh, lies beneath the water in the pine. Tight lines.